Hi Gemini, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So welcome in everybody. Hope you're all doing well. So Gemini, we're going to take a little look at love, life, and advice for you in this bonus reading for February or at this time. I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links to your love and general playlist are down below in the description box as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip, donate, send a gift. All that information is in the description box as well as I'll pin some of that info to the top comment. So Gemini, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male, female. Only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit if any of it is not resonating for you. Parts of it may, parts of it may not. It's a general collective reading for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what's going on in love for you at this time for a Gemini. For this bonus reading, what's going on in love for a Gemini at this time for this bonus reading. Okay, I guess this is your card. So we got the stork here. So I'll read a little snippet of these. Um, we have the Queen of Cups, which is about... Uh, that's water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And it's about love, emotions, feelings, a very caring, loving, nurturing uh, kind of energy, um, intuitive energy. And we have 17 there, which is 8, which is about travel, action, communication. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have the polar bear, 10 of wands, which can be laying down some heaven, heavy burdens. And we have 6, it's balance and uh, healing energy. So laying down burdens will bring you balance and uh, healing energy. And this does remind me sort of like the Leo card of the lion. The bear is kind of the same thing. It's about strength, courage, determination. So let's see here. Let's take um, <clears throat> 17. Actually, I just opened it up to 15. Bear, I am power and strength, health and protection. Your finance is my field. Your food is my concern. My bad side comes out when you see negative cards around me, which we don't, so that's good. So someone uh, gaining their power and strength here. And then we have Stork. With movements, upgrades, and improvements, I bring spring and the change of season. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. So I think something is leveling up here someone's gaining strength and courage to bring in news of wanting to leveling up in some way wanting to lay down some heavy burdens they want peace they want uh, balance they want healing energy and travel and actually communication about love emotions some news coming in about i've gained strength and courage to level up in some way or they may not tell you that, but um, they may just come in and say, hey, you know, can we exclusively date? Can we, or maybe someone finally reaching out and saying, hey, you know, I kind of like you too. Would you like to go on a date or something like that? If finally, finally gaining up their strength and courage to make, you see this polar bear with their arm up. So like making the next move, bringing in that news. So you may be receiving news from somebody here. Or a text or a call or a private message or something like that all right so let's see <coughs> what's going on life for you Gemini at this time spirit please and I just like to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers those who have tipped or donated sent a gift reached out for personal reading all your support really does mean a lot to me in helping uh, me in the channel grow as a reader so thank you, thank you, thank you, Gemini, Gemini, whoops, too many, Gemini at this time, we'll look at love, life, I mean, we just looked at love, so we have, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio, so if this isn't your person, it could be you, male, female, doesn't matter, however the energy resonates for you, you could be gaining strength to reach out to somebody to make the next move, or somebody to you, Someone's releasing negativity here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So someone is finally feeling safe 
could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer, is finally feeling safe enough now in their life from within to finally release any negative, negative patterns of behaving, thinking, being, uh, energies of the past or whatever was holding them back. Now they're feeling safe and content and they release negativity and they're ready to make the next move. They're feeling strong, confident, bring in some sort of communication. So we're going to clarify um, all this after with the tarot. I mean, this is a look at life, but it could be the love situation here coming over, or it could be um, you are safe from whatever happened, whatever negative energy was around you, whatever negative thing happened. Just know it's in the past. It's done. It's time to release it. Everyone is safe now. Everything's going to be fine. It's time to move forward. That makes sense for some. And we do have Scorpio here, which Scorpio season just passed um, October, November. And Cancer is um, May into, no, June into July. So if those time frames mean anything to you. Okay, so let's look at your advice now. Advice, I do ask Gemini, especially if you're new. You can check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. You get two love, two general, and a bonus. So don't miss out on that. If you do, thank you. Thank you. All right, Gemini. Happy ending. Well, there you go. Number 93, which is 12, which is 3, is about people working together, coming together, and having a happy ending. And the yellow there represents the solar plexus. So that's your soul, your purpose, who you are, your identity um, kind of energy. And on the bottom here, we have manifestation eight, which is about travel, action, communication. So manifesting a happy ending, are we, of some kind here. All right, so let's clarify. All this energy for you, Gemini. Let's clarify the Gemini in this bonus reading. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right. In love here. Let's clarify Gemini in love. What is this strength and news coming in? All right. Wow. So we got the fool and we got judgment that just came out together. Somebody here. And here's Scorpio and here's Aquarius. So Aquarius, we have Aquarius and Scorpio. So somebody here finally making a judgment call, either wanting to resurrect something, forgiving something, or making that judgment call to uh, make a decision here to take a leap of faith, to start in and start fresh, restarting at zero, and uh, having a leap of faith here towards somebody, I feel. And this judgment angel here brings the soulmates together. So this is definitely a soulmate energy here. So let's see. And I'm not sure which archangel that is. If it's Michael, might be Michael bringing in the uh, soulmates. And here's the good news coming in. There's the mess message coming in, the fiery, passionate message, exciting message, good news. And I felt that with the stork, <coughs> can be about message or news coming in. High priestess somebody was quiet here for a time wasn't really saying much so the high priestess here is um, I believe Libra and Taurus oh no that's um, Pisces Pisces tower wow a lot of majors here Aries or Scorpio we got four majors here Wow and another one with the moon, Cancer or Pisces. Wow, what the heck here? Between the moon and the high priestess, somebody was, wasn't was really communicating how they felt. They were quiet. They were secretive. Intuitively knowing, yes, this is my person. I want to take this leap of faith. I want to make this decision to move towards this person. But maybe fear held them back. But now the tower moment comes in. Can be a surprise. Like this is a big surprise that comes into you. And you're like, whoa, I didn't expect this. It could be a tower moment with this person realizing, you know, I need to make this move, communicate to this person. I need to gain the courage and strength before I lose them. Like having that big epiphany or aha, or aha moment. I'm not getting like a fight or an argument. I mean, there could have been, 
And that's why we have judgment there, which is about forgiveness and resurrection and coming back together and having a new leap of faith, good news coming in after a period of quietness, secretiveness, not seeing how it's going to work out, how the path, what the path is going to lead to. But the news is coming in here, uh, coming in. So, wow. Somebody is gaining strength and courage, making that decision to bring in the news after being quiet and silent. It hit them like lightning. This is my person. I need to reach out and I need to take this leap of faith with this person. All right. So what is this? Release negativity and your loved ones are safe. Yeah. There's a negativity with the nine of swords, stress, worry, fear, anxiety. It's time to release that. Feeling confused. Looking at everything that happened here. Yeah, it could have been fight, argument, conflict. It could have been family, co-workers, friends. Fighting, arguing, conflict, not seeing eye to eye. Being confused. Looking at everything that's happened. Being totally up in your head and stressed and worried. Um, being in that negative energy. But now it's time uh, to have mental clarity. That's your energy, Leo, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So that's your energy of now having mental clarity, clear thinking. Okay, I'm ready to take my sword, cut away anything here that is no longer serving me. Timing, Time to release it. Let it go. You know, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, telling it like it is. So it could be about a lover here. This is about soulmate energy. Or it could be people now only aligning with people that are aligned with you, that you see eye to eye with, that you have a connection with whether it be friends, family, coworkers. I feel like now releasing negativity, I'm releasing those negative people around me that are not aligned with me as with the lovers, making that conscious choice to do that and being in that true state of clarity and knowing that spirit has your back while you do this, that it's the right thing to do. It's for your own safety and sanity. What else here? Yeah, so you could have a fiery, passionate new life, new beginning feeling the zest and passion for life to go after it to do what you want not letting any negative toxic energy weigh you down anymore now you feel like you have a new lease on life feeling fiery passionate energy once again for life and not being weighed down by negative energy good for you gemini all right so and this is your card here uh with the lovers gemini so i feel like that is you making the conscious decision now having that mental clarity to do this so what is this happy, and again, with the manifestation, happy ending. So there you go. Devil. So that's that toxic energy, Capricorn. Strength. Overcoming the devil. Strength overcomes the devil. So you are overcoming toxic energies. You have the courage, the strength, the bravery to do it. To use that sword, to make the conscious choice, to get rid of toxic energy around you. Oh, <clears throat> um, sorry. So what do we have here? So, yep, death, yep, ending things that are no longer serving you, transforming, starting anew, ending toxic connections or things. <clears throat> and again, having the sword of victory. And this is the divine energy coming in with truth and clarity. The sword of success and victory. New beginnings based on truth and clarity. Again, cutting away things no longer serving you. Standing up for yourself. Not taking any BS kind of energy. Wow. Okay. So we have Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. Justice, bringing balance and justice. Truth, clarity into your life. Serving yourself justice by doing this. Wow. Libra energy. Eight of Pentacles. So now investing in yourself, what only doing what is good for you, working, working on yourself, your future, your career, your home and family, only looking at the Pentacle here and investing in things that are only good for you, that will nurture you, that will bring you growth, abundance, positive energy. No more investing in things that are not serving you. You see they're falling away to the wayside here. So Yep, getting rid of toxic things and manifesting that out of your life 
so that you can be happy once again. Gemini. Wow. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. So there you go. Happy home and family life now. Celebrating ceremonies. Being committed to this journey. Committed to your person. Again, someone coming in here wanting commitment. Wanting to commit in some way here. King of Wands. Leo Sag Aries. Fiery, passionate, go-getter energy. Going after what you want. Doing what's best for you. Being led by divine energy to do so. And following that path and being brave and strong. It's somebody coming in here with a lot of fire, passion, ambition. And now wanting this fiery commitment with you. Passionate. After, you know, they've gone in, Virgo energy here, gone in, thought, reflected on what they wanted. And you also thinking and reflecting, what do I need to do here to better my life? Get rid of toxic energy. Finally seeing the light. And now King of Swords. So you're showing up twice here. We have the Queen. And now we have the King. So man, woman, doesn't matter, Le uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, you put your sword down, you did what you had to do, and you're sticking to it, and you have full control and mental clarity here. Yeah, moving away here, steady, slowly, surely, with a lot of practical energy from any sneaky, lying, deceitful energy, toxic energy around you. No more of that. No more of that. Now moving forward, a lot of balance, growth, abundance, practical, smart energy, being in your power because you've moved away from toxic energy. You saw the light, you knew what you needed to do. And now somebody also saw the light and they're moving into you and they know what they want. And they're going after it. a lot of uh, fiery passion action here to either some sort of leveling up or commitment or saying, hey, can we go out, celebrate, have a good time kind of energy. Wow, Gemini. <laughs> Good for you. So best of luck to you, Gemini, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.